In an effort to assist DOE and with the conviction that K-25 is the key to a heritage tourism revenue stream for the city, the Oak Ridge Heritage and Preservation Association has been looking hard at ways to decrease DOE's cost and to address the safety issues. Among them is a proposal to save only half of the inside of the North Tower building. It saves DOE a significant amount of dollars by reducing the amount of space that must be preserved and drops costs to near what DOE set aside for the original memorandum of agreement. If DOE does go ahead and clean up the building and the equipment as has been proposed, I've asked who will take ownership and provide funds for turning it into a heritage tourism attraction, including a small interpretive center, exhibit hall, elevators, restrooms, air conditioning, etc. The Oak Ridge Heritage and Preservation Association has been working hard on these business planning issues. They are thinking about a foundation taking it on, possibly partnering with others outside Oak Ridge. You know, Dr. Joe Garrison of the State Historical Commission said K-25 is the top historic asset in the entire state of Tennessee. So this foundation would not just use local fundraising, but rather might go to veterans, World War II history buffs, and others using campaigns like those which have been so successful for the National World War II Museum in New Orleans, They've raised about $270 million. The Fort Belvoir Army Museum in Virginia, raising about $210 million. Our immediate mission, however, is to save some part of K-25, which together with AMSI will tell the story of Oak Ridge and drive heritage tourism dollars into our community. What's the potential for visitors and income? Access Museum Services and Tuck Hinton Architects have been studying K-25 visitor potential and helping design the visitor experience over, over the past two years. They have studied several dozen similar attractions and concluded that historic K-25 could draw 200,000 visitors per year. Having such an attraction will add visitors to AMSI and the Children's Museum and will greatly benefit our heritage tourism revenue stream. And now we're going to hear from my good friend Homer Fisher. Homer? Thank you, David. I believe that what David has presented appears to be reasonable in terms of what's best both for our community and for the Department of Energy. However, looking beyond the very real value to them, I see a larger benefit to the American Museum of Science and Energy and the city and possibly even the entire region that could result from revitalizing AMSI to link arms with K-25 in the city in telling our communities two truly unique stories. Our major role in the Manhattan Project, bringing peace to the world by ending World War II and the exciting story of what Oak Ridgers have done in the years since in applying that science and technology in ways that have benefited mankind all over the world in medicine, agriculture, energy, and industry. Our story can be educational, entertaining, and it can pay off economically. Working together, AMSI can tell the stories, and K-25 can show one of them in a way people can see nowhere else. All the other wonderful attractions in Oak Ridge, like our very own special Children's Museum, other places and things to see, do, and learn can make an unforgettable overnight visitor experience for future generations from all over our nation and the world. Let's all work together now to support K-25 and continue to support the rich assets we already have in our community in order to make this potential heritage tourism revenue stream a reality for Oak Ridge. Thank you, Homer, for those words, and thank you for watching this presentation.